Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Playframe and to the Big Catch Tackle Box. This is a 3D platformer, an indie title that just came out this year, and it's really interesting. It's it evokes the like rendering style of the PlayStation, which I am way into. I love that there are so many games doing that these days. Great nostalgia. But uh, also its design as a platformer is also pretty interesting and challenging, but cool. I I'm wanting to see some more of it, so let me show you it. New game. It's got some really fun animation too. I like its style. And here we are. Adjust camera with right stick. And we can run around. See, look at that run. It's really appealing cartoony animation on this guy. And I like it. Fiskari training grounds. We're going to need them. Because platforming in this is really cool, but pretty unique and a little complicated. But it's complicated in a way where I feel like if I wrap my head around it, I will be able to get anywhere, reach anything, I will feel <laughs> like a movement expert master speedrunner. <laughs> it feels like an initial tricky learning curve, but where I feel like on the other side of that is a kind of mastery that's got to feel so satisfying. Climbing, leaping between, and mounting poles are considered novice skills any Fisker should master quickly. Likewise, tightrope walking is child's play, but that's no reason not to perfect your balance and bounce to new heights. Bail. Okay, well, let's try a bit. You can jump and climb. You can jump up on top. Tight ropes. Nice and easy. Try to collect all these things. Ooh. Okay, yes, we can trampoline bounce. Excellent. Whoop. Hang on. Yeah, there you go. A sure-footed Fiskari can balance atop and leap gracefully between pointed lines. Or pointed tines, rather. Either one, I imagine. Eh, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Ah, oh, not allowed. Okay. Very easy. They're very generous with the, uh... <laughs> Kind of landing zone on each of these. Anyway. Keep your head up. Hanging from fly rings offers a path forward in precarious places. That must be those. Yes. There we go. That's how you get the thing. Bunch more over here, though. Let's see. Just hop up to climb vines. Once mastered, you'll find climbing as swift as running, even hanging from ceilings. When climbing, you can leap large gaps along the surface. To leap away, hunker down, and aim your jump. Hunker, you say. Okay, let's find hunker. I have not yet found hunker. Maybe I will learn that elsewhere. Jumping around on these is pretty easy, though. Characters real good at going exactly where you want them. There's another sign over there. Ooh. Honed Fiskari instincts can easily identify stable tether points to latch to. When in range, cast your rod and hold tight. If you're feeling stuck or lost, always remember to turn your gaze aloft. Bail. As so we've also not really learned a lot about casting. I think we can do more of that over here. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Coins aren't merely beautiful relics. They sustain the tribe. Ultimately, what else is this all for? Pick them up. Bail. <laughs> it's 
spines, rails, and other grindable objects can carry you through the desert quickly and into hard-to-reach places. Don't forget that you can even attack or switch directions as you ride using X. Noted. Yep. Yeah, this animation looks real good, and movement feels really cool. Hmm. Can't just pick these up. The scarcity of water in the wastes is no excuse. Fiskari are nimble swimmers. In fact, they should know how to skillfully breach the surface with speed and even reach new heights. Ooh. All right, well, let's try a bit of that. Okay, so ascend with A, which is the jump button, descend with the right trigger. You can tap and hold X to boost or swim faster. So if we were to in theory, dive, get kind of underneath these coins, ascend boost. That, I think, is the idea. Ascend boost. There we go. Dive, ascend boost. Yes. Okie dokie. Fiskers should grow to see their fishing rod as an extension of self, reeling in distant objects and casting them back out. Utility or makeshift weapon, that's up to you. Once cast, items can be released from your hook or reeled back in. This is where some of the complexity comes in. Some of it. Lock onto objects and aim your cast using left bumper while locked on. Change target using the D-pad. Okay. Locked on. D-pad to switch targets. So X to just swipe with the uh, fishing rod. But what to cast? Ah, right bumper, yes. Hold it down to hold onto the target, and I can kind of drag him around. Reel in with X. And there. Now. Well, I thought we could swing them sort of as a weapon, but that sort of released them. Um. So, let's see. X plus a direction to throw the thing. B to just drop it. Hold right bumper to charge cast. So let's try some of these in order. So B to just drop it. Uh, here we go. X to throw it. And hold RB to charge cast. Oh, okay. Eh. Ah. Almost launched myself off. Fire! That's not working. But I can... Can I... Nah. Can't launch at that. It's this mechanic here that I feel like I'm still kind of learning my way around. Uh... Charge cast. Maybe it's just releasing. Maybe I hit X to throw instead of just releasing and casting. Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay. I was doing it wrong. And I'm keeping this thing attached to the rod so it kind of remains a long-range weapon. Ha-ha! <laughs> Twofer. Boom! Now I'm getting the hang of it. Feels pretty cool. All right, so let's see. Disconnect. Let's collect some of our winnings. It's a really neat game. I enjoy me a 3D sort of like retro platformer. Quite a bit. But I feel like not all of them have this sort of, uh, unique mechanical twists. So I can hook these, yes. Oh, and then, like, fish them out. What do I do with them, though? Ooh. I bet those are health. Yeah. Okay. Cool. By the by, so... I specified that it uh, sort of evokes PlayStation graphics uh, 
previous, oh, that's a cool effect. Uh, PlayStation graphic styles previously, uh, as opposed to like N64. And the reason for that is uh, not super evident right now, but let me show you something else that I really enjoy about this game. It has several different sort of uh, graphics style filters. This is the default, the modern one. If you'd like, you can turn on modern with a more like uh, anti-aliased smoothed look. If you want it looking a lot more like a kind of full modern HD release instead of the uh, kind of retro aliasing. But if you like the retro aliasing well, they've also got the retro look. Much more aliased, much closer to the uh, resolution of an old PS1 game. It's still higher resolution than that and widescreen and all that, but much closer to the resolution of an old PS1 game. And what's more, it's not just the resolution, but you might be noticing like there's a little bit of like wobbliness to the environment slightly as you kind of like move the camera around like it the exact position of all the points and polygons in the walls seems like it kind of shifts and warbles a bit that was a playstation specific uh graphical effect <laughs> due to just how the uh hardware of the ps1 specifically worked and if you want to see that even more clearly you can turn on the emulator effect which basically takes the retro effect the, the, like, retro graphic stylings, but makes it very crisp and smooth in an emulatory sort of way. So now you can really see that warbling happen. Which is a little, a little much. It's a little almost nauseating, in fact. <laughs> so we won't keep that. But if you really, really like the retro look a lot, you can go one further by filtering that through basically a composite cable, an old school, like, red, white, yellow... <laughs> audio video output to blur it. Now we're looking a lot closer to how a PS1 game kind of would have looked. Again, still better and fancier and newer than a PS1 game would actually look, but it's closer. I love seeing stuff like this. I love indie devs going the extra mile to really, really capture that retro look and feel, especially with a game that is designed to evoke that kind of already being able to filter the look of it so that it feels even more like that as a sort of holistic experience feels really cool let's here we'll, we'll stick with modern i imagine that'll play a little nicer with youtube compression anyway but uh, i love that the options are there anyway hello you're sleeping. Fiscari Bale. Huh? What? Oh, Tackle. Wasn't expecting you yet. In fact, I wasn't sure you'd make it at all. <laughs> well, test one complete, I suppose. A successful crossing. I know it's a big day for you and all, but that's no excuse to rush yourself. Let's not forget what happened last week. Hit the course, get warmed up. Today, the kid gloves come off. When you're feeling sharp, we can move on. You ready to proceed? Not yet, well, let me... What, getting cold feet on me? Oh well, steal your nerves and report back soon. Okay. You were parked in the... You were, like, sitting and sleeping in the basket you're now holding on your back. That's a cute touch. You're very stern. I'm gonna go over here. Let's see, is there anything else I need to practice a little more before moving on? I didn't really use this yet. Can swing. Shore up your acrobatics on poles like this. Swing up to speed and leap. Sidle along or turn around to line things up. Okay. So yeah, we can sidle. We can swing. Leap. Yeah. And then there's this thing, which we can use the rod on. And swing some more. So yeah, lots of traversal options. Got it. Yes. Okay. I'm feeling a little more ready. All right. You feeling limber? Ready to proceed? Let's do it. Come along, then. 
I follow. Ooh, we have more course. All right, small fry. Let's keep this part brief for a change, if you can manage. You know the drill. If you can't hook a fish, then you're not ready for the field. Show me what you learned. Remember, those little morsels are too slippery to bag in the water. You'll need bait. Okay. Fishing. Fish, the clan's lifeblood. Clients pay top dollar for such a rare commodity. Study their behavior and bring in the catch. Ironically, fish can't be hooked while comfortably veiled underwater. They must first be seduced to shore. Bail. Okay. Let me first make sure there's not any more platforming lessons I need to... learn. Is this bait? The wastes will rarely provide, but the tools to survive do sometimes grow on trees. Even if they smell awful. Bail. Maybe these are weapons. Gimme. Could be. Fish, are you interested in this? What do you think? You are interested in this. Haha, -ha. and I've coaxed you out of the water. Come here. Eh. Gotcha. <laughs> Huzzah. Feels good. Are these also bait, or are they just a thing I can break? The second thing. I fished. Sorry. <laughs> you wish. Wrong button, but funny. Oh, good work. Not the cleanest job I've seen, but on par for what I'd expect of any fisker your age. And, yes, a big improvement from last time, I must admit. Anyhow, head topside for the real thing. Get climbing. Okay. Ooh, a lot of reading over here. And also... Question mark? Fish? No fish? Hmm. Kind of strikes me as like a checkpoint, but, um... I feel the same. To crouch, hold right trigger. While crouching, burst into a slide by pressing X. Now we're getting to some of the more complex platforming tools. Jumping with A just after performing a crouch slide results in a far-reaching kick jump. Okay, one at a time here. Let's... So, crouch with right trigger. Can aim yourself. X to slide. Okay. And then... Jump out of that to do a longer jump. You see what I mean about kind of getting the sense that if you can master this stuff... <laughs> you feel like you could probably get places very quickly. And I sense that the game is going to demand that of you, too. Spin the left stick to spin in place. Hold right trigger to stay locked into the spin without continuing to spin uh, left trigger. Okay, so... Spinning the left stick around... And then if I just hold right trigger, I'll keep on spinning without having to keep on twirling the stick. I can use the left stick to move. Why do this? Jumping after spinning left stick results in a spin jump. This action can be buffered before you even touch the ground. The f see, the fact that I've got tutorial signs telling me some stuff about, like, buffered moves and inputs suggests to me that this is a game that is going to expect some proficiency from you. <laughs> Press right trigger in the air to ground pound. Jump right upon impact for extra height or when hitting an angled slope for speed. Yeah, you see? <laughs> so let's put some of what we've learned into practice. We got our ground pound. We've got our spin jump. Boing. For like a little bit of a hover in midair. Now let's use these tools to try to get places. Navigating must become second nature, riding walls and sidling ledges as effortlessly as one breathes. To find success, leap along the wall with speed, not into it, and ride as long as you can. Practice makes perfect. Okay, so I think we're going to need to slide, jump, wall run to get through this. Yeah, wrong, but... 
That was most of the moves involved, but definitely not in the right order. So. Slide. Nope. That is not it. It's not the button. Kept on using the left trigger instead of the right. Silly me. Slide jump. Okay. We can do this. So, slide jump. There we go. Got it. Gonna need to do that again, and then probably another jump, and then... I think that's a ledge we can grab. Yeah, there we go. We got some climbable vines. I wonder if we can just reach these here. Hang on. Nope. Don't wall jump. Not quite, but I wonder maybe with twirls? Or maybe even just wall jump, like wall jumping in the corner. Almost, but not quite. No. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We can get this. I'm getting the feel for it. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I think we need to, like, try long jumping across here to grab onto that. That's my thought. Whoop. No. Not long jumping. Maybe the twirl hover jump. That might get us further. Maybe that's better for distance. Whoop. Jumps. Okay. Yeah, getting more and more comfortable with it already. Probably good that you kind of have to pass this little exam before you can get out into the game itself. <laughs> it does force a little bit of a sense of like, okay, I've got the hang of it. And jump! Nope, not quite. Okay, what's our tool for getting over there then? Hmm. Maybe we can just wall run over there, actually. That might be easier. Oh, yeah. Much easier. All right, so you can, like, right trigger to sort of, like, lock yourself in place to prepare for a jump. That's nice. Um, why didn't that work? Hang on. Whoop. Oh, I see. I guess locking in place doesn't really work super well for doing the little dashes across gaps. Just as well, it's easier doing it this way. Anyhow. The swing. The final test of any Fisker's rod discipline takes trusting your skills with every fiber of your being. Bail. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. We're doing it. Oh, yeah. Gonna have to jump to do it, too. Real leap of faith. Jump. There we go. <laughs> Little scary to do, but... We managed. Yay! And then... We drop a little line for ourselves. A shortcut. Hooray! Oh, you're up here already. Goodness. That was fast. Envisioning terrain as a tool to ascend is what separates a Fisker from future Fiskari. Got wall? Why stall? Bail. Pretty good phrase. Come on. You can do it. There we are. Ooh. Pretty. Good. Well, now that you're all warmed up, I'm going to let you loose. The plateau ought to be a decent challenge for you, but trust your training. There's always fresh prey in these ruins. Here. You received the whistle. Use it with Y to summon sand shredders in the desert. Remember, the little buggers are skittish, but whistling can garner their loyalty. They're the swiftest way to cross the sands. Just try to keep them out of the water, okay? Okay. Thank you. Um. Oh, you're just parking here, huh? Oh, and this is where I can set my catch. It's so bouncy. <laughs> There's really appealing animation on this stuff. I'm a fan. Get out there. These ruins tend to be crawling with those walking little gold mines. 
Bring whatever you find back here and I'll even toss you some petty cash. How's that for motivation, kid? Kind of like your first real job, huh? Well, you better treat it like one, anyhow. I'll be watching. Stern teacher. Very stern. Here's a fish. Ooh. Coins. Yay. Okay, so we have a whistle now. How's the whistle work? You told me and then I forgot. Fish are none too different from any other living thing. They fight to survive. If you're ever feeling discouraged, just remember that all things have their limit. They too will tire with persistence. Noted. I'll figure the whistle thing out. So yeah, now we're let loose. Oh, why to call Sand Shredder? Nice and easy. Okay. Hello. I caught you, and now we ride. Woo! Welcome to the big catch. It's very fun. Okay. We found us a little spot. Ooh, and these bounce. It's an interesting mixture of, uh... What, like, influences and reference points. Like that... The... Latching onto an animal and... Skiing across the sands feels very Breath of the Wild. Although, the... Structure of the world... And the way we're going kind of from, like, little... Ruin to ruin feels a little bit more Wind Waker. Like... This is the ocean we're crossing to get to islands. And the platforming... It's hard to think of what the analog for the platforming is, actually. It's not Mario, it's not Banjo-Kazooie, it's... What is it? It does feel familiar, like I feel... I sense influences in here, it's just hard to, uh... Pinpoint what they are exactly. You come here. Ooh, I think the bounces are actually going to be a problem for me. They're going to slow me down. You come here. wonder if there's any bait around. I guess you're already out of the water, so I just need to focus on catching you. And thwacking you with a fishing rod. Like you do when you're fishing. Where are you going? Yeah. Come here. Haha! Gotcha! Yo! Fish! Sorry about the mouse cursor popping up on screen now and then. I don't... I've tried to make that stop doing that and it <laughs> hasn't stopped doing that. Just happens with some games on PC. I'm not sure why. Got a fish! What else is around here? Some health, which we could probably use from getting... Justifiably kind of, um... Smacked back by our teacher. We did start it. And they very quickly finished it. I saw there's stuff underneath, like inside here. How do I... How do I get down below? I want to get down there. I bet there's a way. Oh, I bet. But how? Hmm. Maybe there's a tunnel somewhere, or maybe we eventually develop a method of getting through ropes. Or maybe you can't actually get down there. All these things are possible. Well, anyway, let's find somewhere else to go. Um... Hello. Let's ride! I kind of love how open this is, like, they're not directing me anywhere in particular. And they've not really given me any tools for remembering where I came from or where I am. Like, I... Maybe that's a thing that you can kind of, uh, acquire later. But otherwise, I'm kind of just having to try to keep track 
of where I've come from and where I'm going, which I've not entirely um, succeeded in doing. So I'm a little lost, but I'm here. And I got here on purpose, so I can't be lost. That's just logic. Fun music, too. This game kind of rules. Like, again, steeper learning curve up front with the uh, platforming and the control of the character. And maybe it would help. Ooh, these have got to be little checkpoints. Yeah, I like the mystery here. Like, lots of stuff that they're just not explaining, but that uh, I kind of feel confident I will eventually understand better as I explore and do things. This kind of lets you figure stuff out. I bet you can latch onto these. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, what if... Can I, like... Not quite. I have to do it from, like, above. If I'm down here, it doesn't really work. So, hang on. Oh, you can use it. Okay, 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 okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Neat. All right. Hang on. And launch. That's cool and tricky. <laughs> Help. I'm finding my feet. Okay. Launch. Come on. Oh, you gotta pull back a little bit first. There you go. That makes sense. Yeah. Not quite. I can do it. Point. Ah, nope. Best way seems to be like pulling back on it and then hitting like X, which reels it in and then launches you. Woo! Not quite. Maybe that one's either either you got to do that one just right to reach that far, or there might be an easier platform to use to reach that one. Getting the hang of it though. Oh, careful. One more try. Yeah, there it is. That one felt better. Ooh. Yeah, let's get over there so we can create a shortcut. Huh. Okay. Okay. I think I see what they're going for here. I think. Huh. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. <laughs> That feels very cool. Like, challenging for sure, but then when you nail it, very satisfying. Hmm. Let's get some coins. Careful. Yes. And what do we got down here? Oh. Outside. Well, where's that shortcut we made for ourselves? And what is this? Is this a hazard? Hello? Doesn't seem to do much. Really pretty as well. I love the colors they're using in the landscape. Let's see, how are we getting up on this? Might not be easy to do from this side.
We did drop a line for ourselves, like right over this way, though. It's like right around. There you are. Yes. And we're up. Okay. Hmm. Woo! And then... Hmm. Well, let's try this one. Yeah, I'm getting better at it. And this one will require a bit more timing. Let's see if we can get the one with the coin. Whoo, just slightly late to get the coin, but we got through. I'll take it. Oop. Boing. Yeah. I think I'm actually supposed to be looking for fish out here, but... I'm just having fun jumping around. It's gonna be tricky and... Fire? Yep, but... Oof, okay, almost went too far. Okay. There's a fish. Way over there. Hmm. That'd be tricky to reach. Let's keep going this way. See what comes of it. Woo! I'm here. I hope. Oh boy. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh, they dropped me back up here. That's nice of them. Minus one health, though. That's okay. We have ways of recovering health. No. Um, I'll... I was just leaving that one down there for next time I fall down. See? It was strategic. I wonder if we can latch those things with our fishing rod. If we can't, I think the next trick is then to try wall running or getting a wall jump over here. Fire! Yeah! Not what I... Not what I jumped with, like, planned in my head, but uh, by the time I got here, it felt right. <laughs> it worked out. Hmm. Ooh. Almost didn't see you down there. Gimme. I don't even know what the coins are for yet. But I want them. I feel like I should be able to just reach this with a jump. It's like I'm so close. So close. But not quite. This will make it work, though. Woo! Not quite, though. Hold up. No! Too eager. Jumped bad. Hmm. You don't want to jump into that one. That'll just bounce, launch you way out into the desert. It's probably like jump from here. Yeesh. Not quite, but almost. That's kind of the idea. Yeah. Not quite, not quite. Not quite. I think I'm still overcomplicating something a little bit. Whoop, there we go. In the, uh, in using those little spring bounces, like uh, either I should not be using the real button at all to try to launch jump. Or I should be, and I'm like, I feel like I'm uh, <laughs> using one more control than I need to when trying to do these jumps, and it's um, resulting in less precision than I'd have otherwise. That worked. And that's how we get to a fish. 
Okay. Yeah, it's interesting. You don't have to use the cast to do those jumps. You can just launch, grab, pull back, release the stick, and you'll fly. And that's actually easier. That's probably what's been happening every time, and I've been using the cast button and occasionally throwing myself incorrectly. Whoa. This is going to be tricky. The fish are like a good little final exam. Oh yeah, it's so much easier not using... <laughs> just trying to pull the little spring back, not using the reel in button whatsoever, and just like, release the stick, and go and let fly. Release! There you go. Yep. That works so much more consistently. But yeah, the fish are like a final exam of platforming around the space, because then you gotta do it fast. Come here. Eh. Oh, I'm getting so much better at it, though. That feels cool. Ugh. That won't work. How are we getting to that fish? No. I'd have had it. Curse you, fish! Ah, oh, almost. We'll head it off over here, I was going to say, and then it left. Fish! This way. This way, fish. Fish. F fine. Fine! Jerk. Fish is jerks. Come here. I'm getting faster, fish. You can't run forever. Also, it's getting dark out. And I don't know how to make a campfire, fish. I need to go home. Oh, no. Where are you going? If you're going back over this way... You just... Jerk. Jerkfish. Oh, I'm gonna get you. You taunt me. Rude fish. That's right, you better run. That way. Run that way. Okay. I'm gonna try heading you off over here, if I can. Nope, you're not falling for that. Mm, gonna get you. Fish, it's too dark to see. Nope. This fish mocks me. Where would be a good place to cut it off? If it's trying to jump over... You're not. Now! Terrible. I guess I can just wait there. It's clearly gonna come to me. Ah, but I'm too late. Okay, but we do know that it'll come to me there. Alright, yeah, that's right. You keep running over there, then you come back. Yes. Ha! You're mine! Darn fish. Yay! Success! Let's see if we can find our way back home. Is there, like, a map or anything? I assume no. But, um... Doesn't seem to be. Ooh, we've got this as like a compass, though. That's cool. Less helpful, uh, just kind of figuring it out now, but. All right, little buddy, let's see if we can find a way back home. Ow. Okay. Let's see. If we can get kind of onto this little lane here. I feel like we rode along this for a little bit. Though this might not be the same lane. Hopefully we can either find home or that first little island we ended up at. I don't think that's what this is. This is water. This is not a thing that our little buddy would like to go in. It's 
fun sledding around, though. That's cool, but also a little scary. Um, are y'all enemies? Yep. Ow. Ow. Help. Run. Dead. Don't get near those things, I see. Noted. We gotta find home. Come here. Familiar landmarks. Hmm. Uh, you can use the cast to uh, kind of mush your little uh, guy along. Neat. Pretty lost, though. This is not the first area we were. Whoa. Yipes. Eh, no harm looking around, I guess. I should end the episode, though. I shouldn't just keep running around this whole place trying to catch a fish. Even though I do see one. You come here. Oh, we got these, huh? Oh, no! Heck with that fish. Maybe later I'll play more. And show that fish who's boss. First, I really do need to figure out where home is. This is feeling promising. Yes, I think we found it. All right. Okay. Noted. That's neat. You can kind of like show and hide UI. But okay, so our little home base is pretty southwardly, but certainly not the most south. I'm calling the thing that the compass is pointing to north. <laughs> but there's clearly more south of here. Neat. Hey, I caught some fish. It was hard. Yay. Um, what do I do with the money? The weather's been kind today. It won't last. I'd advise getting back out there before the gods have a change of heart. Okay, well, maybe later. I need to wrap this up. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, again, definitely recommend it if you like 3D platformers and uh, some, like, challenge that feels very rewarding. Or if you're just enjoying the vibes of this, because it's very cool. Hi. Hi, everyone. Sorry for the interruption. I, um... I've only just now, after recording this episode, realized that um, what I've been playing is not the full game, but in fact a demo prologue sort of thing for another game that is not quite yet out, that is still in development, which is cool. Uh, so the Big Catch Tackle Box uh, is just a demo, a free one even. So if you've been liking what you've been seeing and you want to try it out, well, this is free. It's on Steam right now. And uh, the Big Catch, the proper full game, is still in development. And from what I've played so far of Tackle Box, I am very excited for it. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time for something else. Goodbye!